Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this Stargazer Lily. These are all the tools you will need, they will be listed in the description box below. The first thing we will need to do is cut floral wire using some wire cutters. We need to cut them to 6 inches. You will need to cut 6 26 gauge white floral wires and 4 26 gauge green floral wires. a 50-50 mixture of gum paste and fondant and we are going to color it leaf green. It is a Maricolor leaf green is what I used. Now we are going to make the lily petals. You will need an impression mat with a veining tool. And we're going to dust the veining tool with powdered sugar and place the fondant on the veiner. And with a rolling pin, we're going to roll um, with the 1 16th inch guide rings. We're going to roll it flat. Once we remove it from the veining mat, we want to cut out lily leaves with the lily cutter. The vein we created should go up about 3 quarters of the lily leaf and 1 quarter of it should be flat. You're going to cut out three large and three small lily leaves with the lily cutters. And then you're going to want to cover in plastic wrap so they do not dry out. If your fondant is sticking to your rolling pin, you can dust it with some powdered sugar and that should help. So now we have our three small and we're going to make our three large. Alright, once you're done with that, you're going to want to make your leaves using the small lily color cutter. Um, it is the same process as the lily petals were. Um, you're just going to make three of them and then place it under the plastic wrap. In order to attach your floral wires to your petals and your leaves, um, you're going to want to dip the wire into your water or gum glue. You're going to run the water along the ridge um, and then place the wire by the ridge and fold it over, being sure to press down gently to seal it into place. You're also going to want to pinch the end of the flower to the florist wire. You're going to place that back under the plastic wrap and repeat with all the petals and leaves. Um, attach the white wires to the white petals and the green to the green. Okay, now we're going to imprint the veins on our petals and our leaves. You're going to place the petal in the corner of the impression mat, um, wire side up, and press down with your pink shaping foam. Um, use powdered sugar if necessary. Once you're done with that, place the petal on the purple foam wire side down this time and using the ball tool, ruffle, ruffle the edges of the flower petal. Using the small end of a veining tool, you're going to run it from the middle of the flower petal all the way up to the top. 
then get out your flower former. You're going to place the petals on the large side of the flower former um, and bend the wires as needed. Repeat this process with all of the lily petals. Alright, now it's time for the leaves. We are going to place the leaves on the impression mat wire side up and press down with the pink foam just like we did with the um, lily petals. Placing the leaf on the purple foam wire side down we are going to soften the edges of the leaf with the ball tool, but we do not want to ruffle them. Run a line all the way from the bottom to the top of the leaf with the small end of a veining tool. Go ahead and place that on the former and then um, repeat with all of your leaves. Leave the leaves to dry there overnight. Once the leaves are dry, we can wrap all of the leaves in the lily petals with some floral tape. Um, you're going to rip off some of the florist tape and pull tight to activate its stickiness. Wrap around the wire tightly, being sure to get right up to the leaf, and then tear off the excess. Repeat for all leaves and petals. going to color the leaves using lime green color dust and spruce green color dust. Dip a brush into the lighter green and brush onto leaf, um, covering the entire top and underneath. Using a different brush, um, dip into the darker green and brush on top and the bottom of the leaf again. Do that for all three leaves. color the lily leaves, we will need lime green and deep pink color dust. Dip a clean brush into the pink color dust and draw a line directly down the center of the lily petal. Continue moving the color on the petal. 
by basically buffing it towards the outside of the petal. Add color as necessary, but keep most of the color concentrated in the middle of the petal. Do not put any colors on the outside ruffles. Repeat that process to all six lily petals. Dip a clean brush into the green color dust and brush onto the very bottoms of the lily petals. We are going to use an already made lily stamen. We're going to take the lily stamen and cut about a fourth of it off. And then we want to pull apart the stamen to make it look real. We're gonna pull the brown pieces around the white pieces. You're going to attach your last floral wire to your stamen with some florist tape and then set it aside. We're going to use the Wilton Extra Fine Tip Food Writer in brown to draw the little dots onto the lily leaves. Go ahead and put dots on all six of the leaves. For our final step, we're going to put all of the leaves together. We're going to start with the three large lily leaves. Um, we're gonna bend them, bend the wire right where the leaf and the wire meet, just bending it slightly. Attach one leaf at a time using florist tape. First attach the three large petals and place them in a triangle formation. Attach the three small petals in between the large petals. Attach the same way you did with the large petals using some florist tape. Position the leaves slightly below the flower petals in a triangle formation and use the same floral tape technique to attach these.
and that's it you're all done here's your stargazer lily thank you so much for watching